preacher want to jump in with something? Yeah, well, you know, you do, you do say that you focus on the outcome. And mm-hmm. um, not everybody responds to the same, the, 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 this is the same way of, uh, mm-hmm. not, not everybody responds to the same way, to, you know, the same way to the same things, right? So what I'm mm-hmm. saying is just about the delivery. People have been complaining about the delivery. You know, if you uh, order a pizza and uh, the delivery man, you know, orders, he gives you your pizza and it's upside down. At the end of the day, it's still a pizza, but the delivery is fucked up. So baby, when you ready, hit my line Tell me what you wanna do I know you still really do, 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 do If you're new here, hi! Please do a couple of things for me. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the video. That will help YouTube. Um, I put it out in the algorithm so that I can get more views on my video, you guys. So help me out here. So have you guys seen the live stream with Abba and Preach and Kevin Samuels? If you don't know who Abba and Preach is, they are two guys who they do reaction type of videos. They do like controversial, you know, they talk about controversial topics. Um, I really like their content. They just hit a million subscribers, I believe, so kudos to them. But they ended up inviting Kevin Samuels onto their show. And you know, Kevin Samuels is hot right now. You know, he's been he's been he's been the talk of the YouTube space and, and all over the place, you know, really. Um, but they invited him onto their show so that they could have like a discussion with him discussing, you know, kind of the way that Kevin Samuels does things on his show, they wanted to kind of talk about his approach, you know, to his advice that he gives on his show. And so I follow Abba and Preach's content, so I wanted to kind of talk about this because I thought the live stream was very, very interesting. So this will be kind of like a reaction type of video, but Abba and Preach ended up inviting Kevin Samuels onto their channel. And so they wanted to really challenge Kevin Samuels and his ideologies. But I feel like, you know, Kevin is really going to come with the facts. And I think, I think Abba and Preach didn't really like challenge him the way they said that they would. Um, because, you know, you have to really come correct with Kevin. Kevin is going to come with the facts. He's, you know, I, I did agree with a lot, you know, a lot of what Kevin said. I didn't agree with everything, which we'll get into. But, um, you know, it was a really, it was a decent discussion. But like I said, you know, Abba and Preach just did not come with the facts to challenge Kevin. Critics end up walking away saying, I didn't know that. Mm. All this research and stuff people supposedly do, but this, it amazes me, all this research they seem to do, but they never seem to understand or research the, the topics, the mm. things I'm talking about. It's, it almost always comes down to the, who are you to say this? Yeah. You're too harsh, or what's the solution? And then that's what I also reject too. Why do I have to be the oracle at Delphi to fix everything? Everyone, people, Al Roker can talk about the weather. He's not expected to uh, to fix global warming. Yeah, I mean th- th- that's just nonsensical stuff. The idea that you have to have a solution to every problem that you put. Why are you complaining if you have no solution, or why are you bringing this? It's 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 you no, know, it's terrible ideas. Um, and and I agree with you vehemently on that point. Preach, you want to jump in with something? Yeah, well, you know, you do, you do say that you focus on the outcome. And mm-hmm. um, not everybody responds to the same, the, 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 this is the same way of, uh, mm-hmm. not, not everybody responds to the same way, to, you know, the same way to the same things, right? So what I'm mm-hmm. saying is just about the delivery. People have been complaining about the delivery. You know, if you uh, order a pizza and uh, the delivery man, you know, orders, he gives you your pizza and it's upside down. At the end of the day, it's still a pizza, but the delivery is fucked up. And you guys, during the live, like, I felt like Abba and Preach was so disinterested when Kevin was talking. Like, I just felt like, you know, at one point, Abba's facial expressions, you know, he was just like, you know, oh my God, what, you know, he just looked like he was like, what am I doing here? What is this guy talking about? I mean, is it just me, guys? Like, I felt like they just were so disinterested in the conversation. And at some point during the live, like, Preach just dipped out. Like, everybody was like, where's Preach? Like, what's going on? 
Um, and normally Abba and Preach, you know, whenever they do their content, they're, you know, very high energy guys. You know, I just, I felt like they were just a little disengaged a little bit. Like, is it just me? Like, what do you guys think? And then Kevin didn't notice, you know, he was just like, where's Preach? You know, where did he go? What happened? Is he okay? You know? And then Abba was like, oh, you know, yeah, he had an emergency. He just, he wanted to leave quietly. Shade. <laughs> more readily than I, I find that men more readily understand than most women when we are in some delusional spaces or we're not getting the outcome because the world gives men more often a real world accounting of where you are mm. we get rejected we get a real world litmus test a real world temperature check so while many men will take the advice and i'll tell you the people who book sessions with me primarily want to hear the truth from out from what I see and, and, and about an outcome. And they're more often than not, they're thankful of it because the outcomes improve. Mm -hmm. So like I said yesterday, walking around, every time I'm at, every time I'm out in public, it's nothing but love from <laughs> men and black women. Because, because granted, when we are alone, mm -hmm. when we are, we're not attached to anybody, and especially when the when the pen when the when the thing happened, we're all attached to these things, and we're watching. We don't get outside. So when I had my men in training seminars before coronavirus, the first thing I would tell guys who came in from around the country, learning how to be the best version of themselves, of like gentlemen, the first thing I would say is life happens outside. Number two, life is about people. Okay. See, that's what we really haven't got down to. Men and women are just human beings, people, and we have forgotten how to relate. We have forgotten the value we actually have for one another. The practical value, it's come down to things that are just wants and desires because we've eliminated the quote unquote need. Mm. Mm. What happened to, uh, what happened to, uh, Preach had to drop out over something, and he okay. couldn't announce it because I think uh, you were in the middle of talking, so I okay. just wanted to slip out quietly. So, we so made the adjustment. Got, got but anyway, you guys, I wanted to talk about some points that I heard in this discussion. This discussion went on for like almost two hours, you guys. I did not have time to stick around for the full two-hour conversation. But, you know, I stuck around for what I could and I got some really good um, points to talk about. So the first thing that I want to talk about, you guys, is Kevin brought up, you know, that women are shallow for having high standards. But, you know, and that women don't want to date um, blue collar men and all this. And, uh, and, and you know, where are, but, but who are these women he's talking about? Because I know a lot of women who do date blue collar men. I was raised, I was baptized at five, raised Christian. And it's like, well... What are we doing here? Because ultimately, women don't want to sound like they're picking a man based upon his money. And I'm like, his resource. I'm like, well, a thousand years ago, women picked a man based upon his resources, his ability to provide. That was a practical reason. See, mm. we, have, we have changed what men used to do. To have a woman, you had to be able to protect her, provide for her, and protect and provide for your offspring. There was no dollar bills. You didn't have a stash of gold in your cabin or your hut or whatever. Now, m what men do has been monetized and done by society to where we have really, really narrowed down men to where if he can't do this, 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 I can do bad all by myself. I'd rather be alone. So who's being more shallow, ladies? Um, but the thing about it is if there's a rise in women having higher standards, it just means that, you know, that woman has already dated a man, a blue collar man, and they were not treated very well. You know, they were disrespected. They put up with a lot of BS, you know, the cheating and stuff like that. So it's kind of like if there's a rise in women wanting to, you know, raise their standards and wanting to date, you know, a man with a little bit more, then that's where that comes from, you guys. You know, you know, there's women out there who date men who have potential, but a lot of times, you know, these men will, will dog you out, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of like, which guy do you want to date here? The guy that's going to dog you out with no money at all or very little money or the, the guy who has a little bit going on for himself and he's, you know, he probably can afford to do things with you. Because that's what we've been taught about men. That's what we've been taught to be as women. We're supposed to be submissive. And it's like if a man's acting how we've been taught, we're supposed to act as women. We're like, he's soft. But why, though? That That's because of the gender roles and what we've done as a society. So it's like it literally just feeds into each other like a circle. Yeah. So it's like we have to stop it somewhere where it's like, you know what? 
it's okay if my woman's so a little bit more ready, independent. Are you ready to date an emotional, more feminine style man? Um, that doesn't make any money. That probably can't protect you. That you probably I, don't. I was. did. <laughs> oh, you did. did, 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 did. I did, did, but why didn't it work? So if the blue collar guy or the guy who's struggling or the guy who has potential is fucking up, why wouldn't the, the woman go for the six foot five, you know, uh, basketball player or lawyer or doctor? And so the second thing that I want to bring up, you guys, is Abba mentioned the fact that, you know, mentioned hypergamy, right? Women are now out earning men. When we talk about hypergamy and we talk about the fact that, uh, you know, people are general, well, women specifically are hypergamous, do you feel like this trend is starting to go out the window to some degree or it's lessening to some degree due to the fact that, one, uh, women make more money than before? And despite them making more money, they still maintain some level of hypergamy that's still present. Um, but do you feel like as women continue to succeed in the workforce and that continues and men, as the trend looks right now, are starting to fall behind more and more? Do you feel like eventually women are either going to have to accept the fact that they're going to have to drop the hypergamy, or do you feel like society is going to have to shift? Uh, no. And the short answer is evolutionary biology is what it is. We have evolved to be this way. What's happening is the Petro principle is going into overdrive. Consolidating on women are hypergamous by evolutionary design. And I don't want to belabor that point, but the research is there. So what it means is the top 20% of men is going to need, now need to be the top 10%. The top 10 is the top five. The top five is the top one. And I ask ladies all the time, all right, ladies, what kind of man do you want? What does he want from a woman? And if the kind and caliber of man you want, by definition, are statistically and not rare, 20%, 10%, 5%, 1%, 1%, 1%, are you prepared to share? as women did back in the day with, with Kublai Khan, Genghis Khan, kings, nobility, and royalty of, of old. Ladies, like it or not, a thousand years ago, women shared high-value men. They would rather sh they would rather be the duke's mistress than to be the butcher's or the, or the, or the cobbler's or wife. I don't make human beings. This is how we come. Uh, but I'm going to push back. Um, so apparently the share of American women earning more than uh, their husbands or co partners has increased steadily over the last years, hitting 28% mm -hmm. as of 2017. So there's been a steady increase of relationships where women are with men who are not earning as much as them, and that is continually upward. Now, uh, mm -hmm. this data, I'm trying to finish, the data doesn't include generational breakdown, which means for younger groups, it probably is higher. What do you say to that trend that seems to be developing, well, which, go ahead. Oh, okay, so I don't, I'd have to look at the number, but I would also say when men and women are doing the same kind of jobs, men are out earning women. I mean, men and women earn roughly the same amount of money doing the same job. But if what you're saying is women are starting to out earn men, mm -hmm. I would really have to see where that's coming mm -hmm. from because... Kevin did not like this. Kevin was like, let me see the facts. But actually, I found two articles. According to the dailybeast.com, a new study says that young, single, and childless women under 30 who live in cities make more money than their male counterparts. According to USA Today, about half of women say they out earn or make the same amount as their husbands or partners. So my thing, you guys, is if women are out earning men, Shouldn't the focus be on men stepping it up, leveling up, okay, instead of focusing so much on the women? Yes, the women need to level up as well. And if, you know, if, if they want a certain type of man, of course, you have to do those things to get the certain type of, man, type of man that you want. But, okay, statistics say that women are out earning men. So if this is the case, if, if men want to get back to being providers, then they need to step it up, point blank, period. <laughs> like okay we know sex for y'all is everything so at the end of the day if i put, say oh yeah i got some sexy pictures da 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 da, da I could probably get 20 dollars out of this man to the left probably. that's men's fault so it's like w women are not gonna bring more to the table men are not gonna bring more to the table unless we both do some work we, yeah we understand that and that's why our yeah that's why our yeah. channel is here you know we get that we see that it's a very very big need for men to step up 
in all kinds of ways. They have to do that internal healing and work to get to where they want to be in life. So the third and last thing that I want to talk about is when Kevin said, you know, women no longer understand the value or understand the nature of a man basically saying that there needs to be like rules of engagement in the marriage or in the relationship especially when you want to date a certain man of value that's what it feels like i go for respect i go for respect more than anything else and if you ever watch the series marco polo on netflix i see take kubla, take, take kubla khan and take his primary wife that's pretty much what you're gonna have that's the ideal situation for many high value men and that woman uh he's on his purpose and path and she understands his purpose and path and they're working together because the a productive, competitive, high value, attractive, loyal alpha male type is a female fantasy and notion. Mm -hmm. Because they go out and slay the dragon, kill the minotaur, bring back all the meat, and they lay it in front of your feet, ladies. And th th no, it's much more like Robert Baratheon. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's much more like Robert Baratheon. But then you get into, well, you mean I have to accept infidelity or cheating and such and so forth? I'm like, nah, yeah, I just need to make some rules of engagement up front. Like most people who in that tax bracket, they make mm -hmm. rules. And most people, and that's another thing, guy. most people don't know folks in these upper end tax brackets. They don't know that out in these suburb, suburbs that this person, that they, they have rules of engagement. No outside mm -hmm. babies, no divorce, no, no children, no, make, don't make no outside babies, don't bring no diseases, don't embarrass me in public. So, now that's the third rail. If ever was a third rail, hey man, I mean, that's a big one. You got to you got to do a whole two hours on just that well, one. Uh, well, and, oh, well, trust me, it's coming, especially with everything that's been going on the last couple of three, four days. But the thing is, there used to be a time where women understood the nature of men. Man. Are you? I agree with Kevin. Not for this. I agree with him on a lot of things, but I do not agree here. My thing is. You know, of course, there's, you know, if you if you date a man, right, that that's earning 600,000 to, you know, a million or multimillionaire, of course, that type of man is going to have certain um, requirements, right? Um, I've dated a man of that stature, so I know, you know, how that is or what that looks like, and they do have requirements, but... You know, instead of promoting that, you know, there should be rules of engagement or like men, you know, have, women should understand the nature of the man. How about we promote? No. How about you have self-control? Okay. Which is, which is better, you know, which says a lot about a man. If that, if that man can have self-control and not poke his, his eggplant in every girl or female walking that wants to give it to him, you know, that says a lot about a man. And it's just, it's, it's really sad that it's like that you know but i totally just do not agree with that and and also when i hear kevin say oh just you know women um no longer understand the nature of a man you know way back when 1950s 1960s you know the woman was you know playing her role the the man was playing his role the man was the provider the woman was at home cooking caring for the kids cleaning and things like that and they were also accepting cheating, accepting the abuse, accepting all sorts of BS from their man. Women are no longer putting up with that, okay? So our generation, we're not putting up with that, okay? We don't wanna, we don't mind being, you know, a, a well-kept woman, right? We don't mind being submissive, but not if you're gonna cheat on me, not if you're gonna abuse me, not if you're gonna not respect me, come on. Like, why should we put up with that? You know, women, if there's a rise in women, you know, wanting to do more for themselves and wanting to be independent, this is why, you guys, like, we're not gonna accept BS from men anymore. That is the, the thing about it. Like, if a part of being provide, a, a provider is properly caring for your woman, not just financially, but you have to properly communicate. You have to be a good partner. I have to be able to, you know, get advice from you. You don't cheat on me, okay? <laughs> like, is that, like, can we have that? You know, is that possible anywhere? <laughs> I've said this before in a prior video that I did about Kevin, and I'll say it again. Kevin is 52, so his thinking and ideologies are very old school, you know? He wants the world to get back to the way it was, but, I mean, we're in 2021, it's, it's, it's not gonna be like that, you know? The world is evolving, the world is changing, women are doing what they need to do to step it up, women are being independent, women are not accepting the BS from these men. So, sorry Kevin, it's not gonna go, <laughs> be the way it was unless, you know, unless uh, men start respecting women, point blank.
But you guys, leave me a comment. Be sure to let me know what you thought about this video. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think that Abba and Preach looked disinterested in the conversation and some of the things that Kevin was saying? Or is it just me? <laughs> Do you think that modern women are wrong for leveling up and trying to get out of their situations if their man does not respect them? Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.